White line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Trap line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we got a treat for y'all. We're at River Rats Bar and Grill. It's the first annual gumbo potato salad cook-off. It's for Dreams Come True Foundation. It's for the kids. We got good food, we got good music, and it's all for a good cause. So Cajun Living and Cooking's starting right about now. All right, y'all, I got the lady putting all this together, Wendy Dampierre. How's it going? Going great. A little early for me, but yeah, you we're know. up in sunshine. You're more of the nightlife. I am more of the night owl. Well, uh, the rain's supposed to be later, so we're gonna be all right with that. I've been watching it like a hawk, so we should be good. Uh, our first bands will be outside. We have Sundance and EOW, which is our house band. And uh, then the Peacemakers have donated their time to come out and play for us. And inside later this evening, uh, the Whiskey River Band will be playing for us. Wow, bands all day. Bands all day. and. Uh, uh, Heard that uh, Larry Pearson may pop in. He is the creator of our River Rat song, our theme song. And uh, he and Delbert McClinton are supposed to stop by at some time and treat y'all to the River Rat song. Well, that sounds good. Delbert McClinton, too? Yeah. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we got gumbo on your menu now. We do. We have winterized our menu, so very soon uh, gumbo will be a part of our menu. Awesome. Now, uh, all this is for the dreams come true, and y'all made up a drink just for the dreams come true? We do. We have uh, a dream drink, and the proceeds go to uh, Dreams Come True Foundation, and it's our little part of um, donating. Good, good, good. And it's, it's really neat, y'all, for the kids. Come out, have a good time. Some of them got here bright at daylight, y'all, so. Some of them spent the night on the dock. Yeah, we had a houseboat spend the night out there. We did. They, they're docked uh, on the other side. We have a 50-50 drawing. We, uh, we've got the uh, gumbo for sale, we've got good music, we've got good people, and it's all for a good cause. It's all about the kids. All right, well, we're, I'm going to let you get back to work. we got plenty of things going on, and I'll catch you later. All righty, see you soon. Thank you. All right, y'all, we're starting to talk to the cooks now. Kyle Blanchard, how's it going? Pretty good. Now, uh, we was talking about the gumbos, and everybody does a little bit different style of cooking their gumbo you know uh what what you think makes your gumbo different than the rest or, or what's the key to your gumbo blanchard's blend cajun seasoning yeah got my own seasoning uh, uh using some good on doing gotcha gotcha so you start out with a roux start out with a roux then get my onions and bell peppers and celery and just like a regular old gravy gotcha and then okra gotta have the okra because if it ain't if you ain't got okra it ain't a gumbo it's not gumbo without okra yes indeed but, uh You've been working at the sugar factory a lot, and you got to go to work tonight. Right, right. Yeah, so you, he's out here, y'all, doing double duty almost. So we're getting a good look at this gumbo. It's got a really good smell. I see what what all meat you got in it. I just got chicken and andouille. Okay. And uh, and the good okra and the Blanchard's blend. That's it. All right, bro, I'm going to let you get going because you got everything in the pot. That's it. I'm going to let you get back to it, and we're going to check on some more cooks. All right, y'all, got another cook, Neil Boudreaux from Gross Tech, Louisiana. Y'all got here early this morning. Yes, sir. We got to get here because to do a good roux, you got to start early and uh, slow cook to get it dark enough. Yeah, and, and that's the key to a gumbo, and that's that's our theme for today. The uh, what, what is it about your gumbo you think that sets it off from the rest? Well, I'm doing an okra, chicken, and andouille gumbo, and I bring my personal pit out, and I smoke my own meats on site. So, yeah, to get it to get it right. Got a shot of that earlier. I said, man, what's the barbecue pit? He said, I smoke my own chicken and do my own andouille, you know? And that's the little niche in there yeah. that, that'll, that'll set it off from the rest. Exactly. And uh, you said okra? Okra, yes. Gotcha. Uh, and, and some people put it, some people don't, but 
That's the neat part about gumbo. There's no set recipe for a gumbo. No, and actually the okra, you know, people think about the slime, but actually okra acts as a thickening agent for the gumbo also. Yeah, stick it to your rice. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. You got everything in the pot? No. I got, this is all my meat. You still yeah, got? I still got my meat. My brew's got to cook down a little bit more. And then the last hour, I'll put my meat in and let it, let it give it the smoke flavor. Gotcha. So it doesn't fall apart. Yes, indeed. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to let him go back to cooking. We're going to check on some more cooks. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all got another cook, Roddy Duhon. And he's from Gross Tet, too. And you were in that early crew getting here early. Yes, sir. Uh, Six o'clock this morning. Gotcha. Yeah, they called me from home and said, we are here where we need to be. I said, that's, pick a spot and start cooking. That's right. We're here for the kids for dreams come true and uh, do a little cook-off with everybody enjoy time. Yes, indeed. Now, your gumbo looks really, really good. Bro. I'm telling you, you got everything in the pot? Got everything in the pot. I got to add a little bit more here shortly. Okay, some of that some of that stuff that everybody don't need to know about. Well, it, it, well, I got to add some more meat. Gotcha. Got to have plenty of meat in your gumbo. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, what is it about your gum gumbo that... Uh, that makes it a little different. That makes it. It's all in the roux, baby. It's in the roux. It's roo. all in the roux. Gotcha. And you got here early and started making your roux. Yes, sir. From scratch. And, Everything. And, and, and maybe tell the people out there how to make a good roux. What would you do? You would. How do you make your roux? I'll make my roux. A little oil, a little flour, a little seasoning, a little onions, a little garlic, a little bell pepper. Throw it in there. Yeah, it's gonna turn black. That's okay. It's gonna give that. It's gonna get that roux a little flavor. Get the color too. That's right. Get some color going on with it. You know. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, y'all. Yeah. We're going to let him go back to cooking, and we're going to check on some more cooks. Just remember, dreams come true. All right, y'all. I got two more cooks. Let's get the names of where they're from. Darren DePew, Ascension Parish. Bobby DePew, Prairieville, Louisiana. All right. Now, uh, you got some good smells coming out of here, man. What kind of what kind of uh, gumbo are you cooking? Cooking uh, chicken and sausage. Chicken and sausage. Yes, indeed. And I smell it, man. That smells really good. And uh, what we've been doing is uh, what sets your gumbo apart from the rest? You know, what you think you, you have in your gumbo or the way you cook your gumbo that's a little different than everybody else? Well, I put a little rotel in mine, and I use a uh, steak sauce with uh, mushrooms in it and uh, a little bit of beer. All right. All right. I like to hear that. And I think the definition of gumbo is something like everything in the pot or everything something. I believe, I believe that's what the definition is. You got some really, you got okra in yours? No okra. No okra. Okay. And some do, some don't. You know, maybe filet. Some put filet, some don't. You know, it's it's all the, in. I got the filet for later, and I'm, I'm going to put a secret ingredient. Oh, there. we got another secret ingredient, y'all. Candied yams. Give it a oh. sweet taste. Awesome. Awesome, okay. man. Well, that's good. That's that's what's unique about gumbo. You know, there's, there's a million ways to cook a gumbo, and that's what really... That's what really makes it interesting. I couldn't wait to see how many different kinds of gumbo we were going to have. We're going to have it in a bunch of different types. We're going to have a good time today. All right, y'all. for the kids. Yes, it is. Yes, all it is. for the kids. Well, I'm going to let y'all get back to cooking, and uh, I'm going to check back on y'all. All right, Thank cool. You. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank y'all. Have a good day. All right, y'all. I got another cook out here, Mr. A.P. Barnes. How's it going? Doing great. How you doing? Doing good. And I heard you was the first one out here. Yeah, I was. I was here about 5 o'clock this morning. And not only was he the first one out here, he slept out here on his houseboat. Right. So y'all spent the night. Yeah. You didn't have to drive up river uh -huh. to get here. No. Charlotte <laughs> wouldn't get up that early. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> she slept in a few yeah. minutes. Yeah, she slept in. All right, man, you got some good flavors smelling up right well, here. Uh, well, thank you. Now, uh, I've been asking everybody, and I'm going to ask you, what's, right. the, what's the secret to your gumbo? What you, what you think that sets your gumbo apart? Well, I do. Uh, I do a smoked turkey. And then, oh, and then wow! I make, I make my own broth out of out of the turkey. Okay. And then, uh, cause I boil boil the bones and take the meat off and, and use the broth off of it, and then make our own roux. Yeah. And it's Mama's old recipe. Gotcha, gotcha. So you had to get started early to get all that stuff oh, yeah. done. Yeah. So you was out here scraping the roux and boiling turkey and getting everything going, going early this morning. Gotcha. Well, gotcha. everybody else was still sleeping. Now we couldn't ask for a better day. What a, oh, what a gorgeous! Man. Yeah, we got a good little breeze. A little breeze is overcast, but uh, we, we couldn't ask for anything better than this. Good gumbo. It could be a little colder for gumbo, you know, but uh, it's good. We're gonna eat it. Some people put okra, some don't. Some put filet, some don't. I put filet and okra. Yes, indeed. I do both. Good. Well, I was raised. Gotcha. That's what uh, Mama cooked. Uh, yeah, I'm down here from the <laughs> South Louisiana, and that's the way we cook it. All right, y'all. We're going to let him get back to cooking. We're going to check back with him, though. All right, y'all. I got another cook, my buddy Neil Vadreen from Prairieville. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Doing good. You got an early start out here, too. 
Yeah, I got here right at 7 o'clock and I already had a couple people beat me down here, but we gotcha. started out pretty early. I'm glad we got on this side because y'all, it feels like I'm eating right now. I'm in the smoke. There you go. What, uh, now what, Neil, what, what you think sets your gumbo apart? You know, what, what's, what's the key to your gumbo? Uh, I marinate my, um, my chicken the night before, season it up, and then oh, uh, yeah. sits overnight in the fridge, and then tend to love and care, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Are you an okra guy or not? No okra, no not okra. at all. Yeah. Okay, some put it, some don't, and, and, and that don't matter. That's the key to gumbo. Everybody makes them different. You got a big old pot here. We're gonna end up filling this baby up, man. Yeah, once I put the chicken in it, she'll um she'll come up a couple of more inches for sure. Gotcha. Man, it smells awesome. You got chicken Thank you. and sausage. Okay, chicken and sausage gumbo. Yes, sir. Got, and will yours be the stringy chicken, you think? No. I got I use um chicken thighs and um uh, I don't let them break down, you gotcha. know. It still stays pretty firm. And that's another thing people do too, you know. Sometimes they have stringy chicken, some like stringy chicken, some don't like stringy chicken. It's all what you were grew up with, really. Right. All right, bro. Well, thanks for talking with me and we're going to check back with you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. River Rats Bar and Grill, an oasis on the A Meat River, located in French Settlement off Highway 16. Hashtag best place to eat and party with amazingly delicious original and traditional food. Indoor and outdoor seating with a friendly and entertaining staff. Open seven days a week with happy hour Monday through Friday and game day specials. So come by car, bike, or boat. You won't forget the fun times you've had at River Rats Bar and Grill. Ascension Troll and Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota warranty service center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Trolling Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. Hole in the Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood, seasoning, sauces, and propane needs. They have local Amy River catfish, $3.99 a pound all year long. Fresh shrimp, Dungeness crab, local frog leg soft-shell crabs, alligator, scallops, live and ball crabs, and cracklings. And don't forget, crawfish season is just around the corner. Always local, never imported, at Hole in the Wall Seafood. Hey y'all, we got another cook-off, chili and a cornbread cook-off. It's going to be February 21st at Hole in the Wall Seafood. You got to cook at least three gallons of chili and you got to make a cornbread at least a 9 by 11 dish. It's $50 to get in the chili, $20 to get in the cornbread. And I'm challenging all them ladies out there to get in this too. Put some jalapenos in it, put some crawfish in it, put some crab in it. February 21st, chili cook-off at Hole in the Wall Seafood. Don't miss it. All right y'all, welcome everybody. Uh First annual gumbo potato salad cook-off. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get really busy here. People want to come get gumbos after a while. And uh, what you're gonna do, the cooks, you're gonna serve it to them. They're gonna bring you tickets. They're gonna trade a yellow ticket for a bowl. So if they want gumbo or potato salad, each ticket's worth one bowl. And the people that don't know, you're gonna pay $10 and you'll get three bowls. So that's the, the people coming to eat. But uh, I want to thank all y'all cooks for coming out. I picked a wild day. Uh, first day of hunting season and a bunch of other things going on. But we're going to make sure these kids have a dream come true anyway, y'all. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Uh, not too much. Uh, I, I need to tell y'all. I just want to get all the cooks together. And they got to have a ticket to get the food. It's the main thing. And uh, I want everybody to have a good time. And that's all what it's about, having a good time, y'all, on the river. Thank y'all all for showing up. And we're going to be turning in food at 1130. It's going to be around the back of the bar. It's going to be a table. You bring your gumbo to the table, and a, and a judge's helper will, will take it from you. Don't just sit there and walk off. Wait till somebody takes it from you. And uh, one more thing. May the best gumbo win. Come on, I got you. All right, y'all. We got tater salad testing going on right now. We got the judges. They're just starting their first one. Uh, we got four different ones. So uh, 
They got their work cut out for them. They got a little tasty going right there, Cheryl. It's good. It's good. You, you get some yet, Larry? Very good. We got John. This is it. Very good. Mr. Sai and Jim. Yo, uh, some jobs are hard. Some jobs are easy. And you can classify this one the way you want. But uh, tasting food is pretty much what we like to do around here in Louisiana. So, all right. They got their first one. They're fixing to get some more. This is going to be a tight race, y'all. All right, y'all. We got the first one fitting to turn them in. Uh, what you thinking? I don't know. I know it tastes good. 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 That's all that matters. It looks really, really good. Well, it looks good, but it's just all in what the judges' taste buds are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. Well, but good just, luck. But just remember, this is for dreams come true. It's for the kids. Right. For a good cause. That's right. And good luck. Thank you. Good luck. All right. What you thinking? Man, that looks good. I think it's good. I think it's going to take number oh, one myself. It looks good. It looks thick. Look at thick. I like That's that. That's what we want. Thick. I like that. Uh, Can't have a watery gumbo. No. And it's for all for a good cause. That's right. All for the kids. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> all right, Kyle. Getting it ready, huh? Oh, yeah. Looks good, bro. You got a good thick, good color going. Hopefully it'll be a winner. How you feel about it? Uh, I feel like it's all right. Feel it's good? Mm -hmm. All right, man. Good luck. All right, y'all. How we looking? We plating them up here. We got we done caught them in the middle of plating it up. Putting all the goodies in the bowl. This is going to the judges, so they're getting them all plated up right now. That's when it gets tense, though. It gets really tense when you got to go turn it into the judges, so. All right, AP, what you thinking? Uh, looking good, man. Looking good. How did it come out to you, one to ten? About a nine. You got about a nine already. All right, man. I'm on number nine. I got to win number nine. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you, brother. All right, Neil, we're down to crunch time now. Yeah, we got, got bowling them up. Bowling them up. A little piece of chicken, sausage, a little bit of gumbo. Gotcha. Gotcha. Looks All good. Right. Tastes good. How so. you feel on it on one to ten? Uh, Twelve. Gotcha. You heard it right here, y'all. Twelve out of ten. That's good math. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Thank you, bro. All right, y'all. We're back to the judges over here. They got the, they're got fixing to get their gumbos right now. Larry, how was them tater salad? The tater salad was excellent. You know, the presentation was one of the uh, criteria. And one of them had a beautiful presentation, but in, in my my book, uh, the one with that best taste was the one I liked the best. Gotcha, gotcha. So presentation well, all is good. only... All four of them, color, everything was perfect. What you thinking, John? They were all very good. We all have our preferences. Uh, potato salad is one of those that has so many variations. It I does. like a softer, smoother potato salad. But even those that were chunky had a very good flavor to them, too. It's yeah. uh, always that good mixture of flavor and texture and color, everything. And it I, I got, very good. I got a feeling y'all going to be all over the board like that, too, with this gumbo. As I looked at them and they were turning in, they all had a little bit different look to them. Yes, it does. And gumbo is very much the same way. Gumbo... It's all a matter of taste, how a person likes to fix it. Fix it. Some like uh, a spicier gumbo, some like uh, a lighter roux or a darker. Uh, again, it's all purely subjective. Right. Well, y'all got y'all work cut out for you, and I'm going to let you get back to it. All right, y'all. We got a group here now. Wendy, what we got going? This is Iron Warriors. Uh, we're a corporate sponsor for them. They came out and uh, cooked for us today. They're uh, supporters of Dreams Come True also. And um, they do the blessing of the bike. That's a big event coming up. That's huge, and I'm going to let them tell you about it. The blessing of the bikes. That is April 18th? April 18th. 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 Magnolia Beach Plaza. If this picture right here does not touch your heart, nothing will. We are raffling off this golf cart, as you see. We also have an enclosed trailer, and we also $500 cash for third place. You do not need to be present to be to win, but we'd like for everybody to come out and participate. You don't have to have a motorcycle either. That's now, right. You don't have to have a motorcycle either. Now, the Iron Warriors is made up of firemen and policemen. and it's correct. It's, it's a little bit of um, the people that take care of you. It's the, public servants. That's public right. Public servants. That's and, right. and it's a great group of guys here. Y'all got to meet some of y'all, and I want to meet all of y'all. And... Uh, a good cause, y'all, the blessing of the bikes. That's right, blessing of the bikes. Come out, support us, please. This is not for us, it's for the kids. Our money stays here for our kids in the state of Louisiana, and that's what we're, we're driving for. So please come out and just share your time with us.
Yes, indeed, y'all. And I want to thank these guys for coming out and cooking the gumbo contest. And it's just a taste of what you can get when you go out there. Thank all of y'all. And you will be able to buy tickets here at River Rats. They will have raffle tickets available for sale here at River Rats. All right. Thanks a lot. Let's eat some gumbo. <laughs> all right, y'all. I got another taster. Let's get her name and where she's from. I'm Judy Crater from Santa Mall, right around the corner on Diversion Canal Road. And I hear happy plate. This looks like a happy oh, plate, y'all. And you got three different ones? I did. And that looks really, really good. Isn't that great? Have you got to work on any of them yet? Just this one here. And what you thinking? It's good. Good. It's and got a little okra in it. I love it. Good, good. Well, all right, y'all got another taster. Let's get her name and where she's from. Cynthia, and I'm from Prairieville. All right. How many you tried so far? So far, three, but I think we're going to go back and get three more. <laughs> yes, indeed. Look, here comes your guy right now. Look, he's over here. You had to go get some drinks, huh? Oh, yeah. Let me get his name and where he's from. Bruce Hilliard, Prairieville, Louisiana. All right, so you've been tasting too. Oh, yeah. How is it? It's pretty good. We got some uh, some sweet potato one right I here. I've seen that's that. Good. One of them had sweet potato in there. Yeah, that's a little bit new to me. That might be a little secret ingredient. Yep. All right, y'all, I got another taster. Let's get his name and where he's from. All right, Eddie Turner. I'm living in Baton Rouge. Uh, tried these three here. They're all very good. Hard very to judge. Good. Glad I'm not the judge. It looks good. Uh, yeah, that's here's the shrimp and okra. Gotcha. We got smoked chicken and okra there, and then just chicken and sausage it's there. So, they all good. Yeah, and you ain't found a bad bowl yet. Yeah, bowl, no. I don't and think you will. For a good will. cause. For a good cause. Great cause. Well, thanks for talking with me. All right, sure. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, Wendy. Things are going good. I'm excited. It's going great. This is my daughter, Alice. Hi, Hi Alice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, when she was in the seventh grade, uh, she got a, a rare infection, and we spent a lot of time in the hospital. And wow. about a year and a half into it is when, um, you know, we realized what dreams come true was. And um, luckily, she's happy <laughs> and healthy and fixing <laughs> to make me a GG. All right. <laughs> but had we had we needed them, they, they came to our aid. That's good. So and that's, that's what this is all about. That's what it's all about. This is for the people who need it, y'all. It's, it's dreams coming true. I mean, it's, it, you can't say any more words than that. No, no. And now you're going to eat some gumbo? Of course. You eat potato salad, too? Of course. She's All eating right. some potatoes. Oh, yeah, I got you. All <laughs> right. be real southern girl if I didn't. You're right. You're right. Well, thanks, Wendy. We better go act uh, feed these people. Let's go feed them. <laughs> Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh Produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials. 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week. Cooking demos on Saturdays and customer service that will help you get the job done. Most homeowners are unaware of existing damage to their homes as a result of hail, wind, and storms. Your home is your biggest investment. You can trust our Hague Certified Inspector to assess your damages and our Licensed Louisiana Adjuster to maximize your claim. VJ's Construction ensures your claim is settled fairly. Let our team of professionals work for you. Call today to schedule your free, no obligation damage assessment. Hey everybody, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for coming out. And I'd like to give everybody give a big hand to all the cooks that come out today. Really good stuff, y'all. Uh, good people, good food, good fun, and it's all for a good cause. It's for the kids. We're going to start off by thanking River Rats for letting us come out here and do this. 
I'd like to thank all the people who helped out. Uh, our judge helpers, all the people who just helped selling tickets and all that. And I'd like to thank all the judges for coming out. Yes, indeed. All right. We're going to start off with the potato salad. Fourth place. Get your tickets ready. Fourth place is ticket number 173. Look at here. We have a winner. Okay. Third place in potato salad. One, seven, four. Third place. One, seven, four. We don't have a name. This is Honest Ernest. I hear All right. She's a coming. We're going to move on to number two. You know what? You got a number two in the potato salad. One, seven, five. Oh, yeah. Right here. Oh, thank you. All right. Here comes our number three. All right. First place, potato salad. One, seven, seven. We have a winner right here. Thank you. And everybody who wins the trophy, stick around, and we're going to take pictures. Okay, we're going to move on to the gumbo. Fourth place on the gumbo. One, seven, one. All right. T-shirt. Okay, we're going to third place on the gumbo. Ticket number 176. Look at here. Congratulations. Second place, gumbo. 169. Like Tom. All right, y'all, this fall to marbles right here. And, if, and and we'll have this next year, so you got to come back and defend these titles. First place in the gumbo. One, seven, two. Look at here. Look at here. It's the hard work, y'all. Good job. Good job. Bam. Once Bam. again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. We got plenty of gumbo. I'll get y'all some gumbo. We got some good music. We got a band starting at one. We're gonna have some more DJ going. I'd like to say thank y'all to the DJ. JD, thanks a lot, buddy. Good job with the music. 50-50 drawing. 50-50 drawing. Just one. Okay. Just one. Right. All right. All right, y'all. Fifty-fifty. The fifty-fifty winner is you. I won. How much is it? At least one hundred and fifty. We donated it back, y'all. We're going to donate it. It's a hundred. It ain't 50-50. It's a hundred-hundred. We're going to give it right back to the kids, y'all. Thank y'all all for coming out. Hey, y'all. Another fun day at River Rats. Out on the river. Great fun. It's for a great cause. Good food. Good fun. Good people. Hopefully, we'll make some kids' dream come true. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Check us next week.